Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we'll be finally working on the EG. Um, you guys might be thinking why am I not working on the EG? I will explain in future why I did not do much modifications to the EG. There is an explanation why and why the EG was basically on pause. I will explain that in future vlogs. However, today we are going to work on the EG. There was a part that I was had almost, um, not almost, actually more than a year. I bought at the same time I bought my ignition switch. So we'll be fitting that. Then there's also uh, a part that uh, Kurt Kling um, basically gave me. I just asked him about like where he bought it and he's, he's decided to even give it to me. So I'll explain that in a second, uh, what the part is. It's not an actual modification, it's more of uh, just for the look. But I explained that as well. Um, so let me just show you guys. So that is the ignition switch I was referring to. So here's the ignition switch. And I bought, when I bought the, the new part. Ah, let me just show you quickly. So the new part is actually um, this kind of a track part, I had it for more than a year. This is actually the part I cut off from here, just kind of quickly. I can't seem to find it, but anyway, this is the part that Kurt Klein gave me. As you know, this is um, like the wood flush mounts. So this is not an actual um, flush mount. This is just for the look. So let me just show you. On the EG, I do actually have the flush mounts. That's all in. But the reason for these ones, he gave it to me. So I thought I might as well fit it on the rear just to see what it looks like. So our plan is to fit something in, to fit it something like this. That is what it will kind of look like. However, I'm gonna make it look more realistic. Um, I'm going to black out the inside of it here so that it looks like this can flip open as well as I will be drilling holes in here. And let me just show you what I'll be doing. So I still had left over still had left over screws. I think they call it butter head, I'm not quite sure, let me just look for it for a second these are called butter heads or button heads and then the ones that I actually have the ones that I actually have in actually I have an example over here these are called countersunk so I'm not quite sure which ones I'll be running. I do kind of like the button heads. Because it does stand out like that. So that will look cool. So basically going to drill, cut this off here. And then just basically drill a hole. Or just glue it inside there. So that it kind of looks real. Um, if I do like the look and it is actual mounting points. I might even actually flush or sorry actually uh, fit an actual um, flush mount on the bootlet so that it has the whole racy or track look where you could basically remove this and then remove this and then the whole bootlet will actually be, be able to be removed um, also in future I do plan on fitting a fuel tank so it will be easier to access the fuel tank as well So I just confirmed that this is um, countersunk and this is button head. It's the two different ones and this is um, the ad that we will be fitting. This is a kill switch. I see this a lot on race cars. Um, I also see it a lot on uh, my friend Akil Parker and Asim and Yasin, a tent expert. They have it on their drift cars. So, though I hold 
only idea with this is um, on a track car or a drift car, uh, they basically mount this outside of the car as a safety precaution. So this will mount to the battery and then you just turn this off and that will basically um, isolate the battery I think. So it will basically kill the battery uh, in case of any fires or any um, accident happening on um, the track as well. So the plan, um, I haven't really thought of where I will be mounting but I'll just give you guys a few options. I might just mount two of them. Um, this one I think I'm going to mount to the back because I do want to do a battery relocation. So I would like to mount this in the rear so that the battery um, is in the rear as well. So um, I have thought of it before, before actually working on the EK. I was thinking of mounting it over here. It does seem like it is good enough space. I'll just open up it and show you guys and then I'll also show you um, where I also would like to mount it. So um, I spoke to Emil, He's also a friend of mine that drives on the track. He suggested that I, I maybe mount it on um, my fender, seeing that there's already work done to the fender. So I assume um, yeah, there is a gap over here, I can maybe mount it. Now that will be for the second one. Let me just show you guys. Kind of looks like there is a gap there. And let me just show you in the rear. In the rear, you might just mount it over here to just make it loose. He's a bit dusty, guys. I do plan on actually spraying the whole rear in, and then some idiot actually removed this or pushed this out. I'm just gonna have to fix that as well. Um, there is a video on how I actually did that on Instagram. Also plan on um, using somewhat the videos that I did have before and then basically just vlog it and explain how I got to this point because as you can see the car has already um, a lot of ads onto the car um, also the ads that you do see here I do plan on doing on the EK as well to show you a better example but just to show you guys how my car got to this point, I might just use previous pictures, maybe do some type of slideshow and then just explain how I got to this point. Um, I do see a lot of guys like um, Adam LZ, he recently just posted a 10 minute uh, video of how his drift car got to this point, as well as these people like, um, I think Throttle also recently just posted a uh, 10 minute video of the, the Essex, if I'm not mistaken. I'll just put up a few pictures if you guys do not know who I'm talking about or the cars that I am talking about. But yeah, so um, another thing I want to explain to you guys. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> this is the kill switch. So usually guys mount the kill switch and you can see the nuts from, sorry not the nuts, the bolts from the outside. So I only want this head to stick out. So the reason why I see these other bolts over here, is because I spaced it out and I only want is a small piece or the small front of the, um, the kill switch to stand out. Um, another thing is this, the reason why I went to the counter sound because I want a whole flush look. So I'm going to mount the countersunk flush against or behind this. So basically you will only see the head of the kill switch. That is the plan, but if that um, 
it's not sturdy enough um, I do plan on then drilling right through the body and then having exposed uh, bolts on the side also be in mind guys I will be adding uh, the stickers that go with this um, the sticker that goes with this I don't know if you guys saw it it's a blue white and red sticker or decal it's um, basically a lightning sign to indicate where the kill switch is then there's another modification or another ad I'll be adding that goes with this also safety um, ad uh, like I did mention previously I had this for more than a year it's always been something that I wanted to do I like the whole look of it um, another place that I found does have the actual decals that go with this but I do plan on going with I'm, I'm not sure if I I'm speaking under correction it is a McLaren race car it's either uh, the P1 GT or it's um, the 720S um, GT car it's one I could um, look I am speaking under correction but it is a track McLaren car I like the decals that they use for their kill switch as well as the emergency fire extinguisher so I might go with the exact same look or the exact replica of that but in the meanwhile I might just run um, the local um, decals that we get here in Cape Town so yeah guys um, this is what I'm going to attempt to do um, today also um, you might be seeing this a bit laying around over here like I mentioned um, the EG bill was on pause uh, the reason why I have this here is because I did not or if I do plan on running the actual gas system I did not want to just screw this into the intake I wanted an actual weld so that I can remove this and put it back again um, I will explain the reason why the gas kit has not been fitted as well as well as the reason for uh, me not adding any um, I wouldn't say Okay, the reason why I haven't been adding um, heavy mods to the car, or not, wouldn't say expensive, but not actually just not ex spending much money on the car. So yeah, I'll explain that again in, in a future vlog. So yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna have to remove this panel now here, yeah? and then maybe just set up a glue gun to um, mount this back again. Um, so it just has a more cleaner look over here also that no one can access the actual body um, yeah so I'm just gonna set you guys up on a time lapse and try to mount this as well as um, throw these holes out or jigsaw this off and basically glue it in here giving it a more cleaner or uh, wouldn't say cleaner but giving it the illusion that it's actually mounted um, the illusion that it's actually mounted onto um, onto the body and it's actually functional but like I said if I do like the look I might even actually really do it the only concern that I might just have is that I'm not quite sure where I would actually mount it I have checked it out I would have to maybe remove this whole thing and then drill all over here actually it doesn't seem like a bad idea drill all over here and then basically um, there will be a bolt that comes right through here and it will basically just click onto the actual one the same like I have in the front or on the bonnet so yeah um, actually let me lay, um, I'm gonna mount this and then you guys can just uh, tell me what uh, if you guys like it and if you actually want me to go ahead and mount an actual one also guys just wanted to show you <laughs> look at all the spider webs over here it just shows you how, how um, often I actually drive this car which is which is really <laughs> never I don't usually drive the car, I even had an ant problem where the ants were running all around in the car, on the roof of the car they basically moved in 
when it was winter because I'm not I wasn't driving the car. I actually think I made a status on Instagram as well showing you guys that but yeah okay so let's get to work also has this over here so I can just close it even leave it on and then disconnect it so that it's not actually usable and then maybe just activate it when it when I do go to the track again So I just wanted to show you, um, I do kind of get sometimes cringe, I know it isn't anything, um, or you guys might feel the same, but I don't know, like as you can see here, this is never ever, ne sorry, this is never ever been removed, so sometimes I do just feel kind of cringy or sad when I do cut into the car or uh, basically remove things that were never ever touched before. That does kind of give it that OEM look as you can see there's no damage or anything was ever opened up on this car so yeah I'm going to show you guys that uh, so yes some of you guys might assume that I don't really care but sometimes it does kind of I do kind of feel sad that I have to remove this as you can see it's actually glued still from under so if you guys can see but yeah, guess we're gonna just have to do it. I think there's also a nut over here and I do have to remove. It's very similar to what we did on the EK. So we just basically remove this panel and then basically put everything here. I do think my, I don't know if you guys know, but on my other bumper, on my actual bumper, uh, I do have a rear fog light. So I used to have a wire running through here as well <laughs> for the rear fog light as well. Yeah. <laughs> 